welcome everyone in this video we are going to learn about how to create mongodb atlas account what is mongoose and how to install mongoose to create a mongodb atlas account you have to search mongodb in google then you will get this page then you can click this link you will redirect it to this page here you can click start free or else try free both will redirect to same page so i am going to click start free here it will ask the basic details to create your account then you enter here enter your password password means new password for accessing the mongodb atlas then click agree then create your atlas account it will send the verification email to your email provided here then you have to click to confirm the your registration okay then you will redirect it to mongodb atlas portal or else you can go to here you can click here sign up with google you can choose your uh, email id then it will ask the accept privacy policy so accept it and submit it it will redirect it to the atlas okay registration is success here it will ask some questions what is your goal today learning mongodb you can choose anything then what type of application you are building i'm just exploring okay then what is your preferred language we are going to implement Node.js application. As it is a Node.js, you can choose JavaScript, then click finish. Okay, it will redirect to this page. You can have some options for uh, storage. You can choose M0, it is fully free. We can use 512 MB storage only. If you are choosing this option, you will be charged. Okay, so you can choose M0, that is free tier then this is a default data storage from amazon then you can keep as it is then cluster name is zero so we are creating we are using our we are storing or we are creating database under the cluster zero then free so see here it is free then create here see you can create your username password here so i am going to create username as you can have your password here okay you can choose your username as your wish if you are choosing any name and you are setting a password it should be remembered because with this username and password only we are going to access the mongodb atlas from node.js express okay so you can keep this password okay or else you can uh, enter your, your own password then you can just click the create user this user is the root user so overall admin for this atlas you have to add your ip list first you can choose your current ip and the current ip will be added here okay will be added now you have to click create user then you can finish and close go to overview then you have to add the network access already we have added current ip address you can edit here allow access from anywhere if you want to access this mongodb address from anywhere in the world you can click allow access from anywhere okay it will have the list entry as 0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 then confirm so see here status is pending so all the ip addresses are adding here so it will take some time to add add it okay now its status is active then you can click databases here we have we are storing all the databases in the clusters right so we have to go for cluster here cluster go to collections so database is a collection of collections right 
so collection is called as collection of documents okay so collection is nothing but normal sql it is called as table in mongodb it is called as collections inside the collection we have documents each and every row will be called as documents in mongodb if you are clicking collection so now we don't have any collections okay we don't have any collections we didn't create any collections you have some options right load as sample data set you can load or add my own data if you click it will ask some options to create a database i am going to create database as stud student db then collections stud collection stud collection okay just click create it will be created now you see under the student database you have the collection that is called as table in normal sql it is a table no sql in mongodb it is collection so collection name is stud collection okay then if you want to insert a document you can click insert you can add manually or else you can add through the node.js application okay so this is how you can create a mongodb atlas account you can create your own database and collection under that then you can insert documents update documents you can do here okay next we are going to see about mongoose mongodb provides a couple of drivers to connect with the mongodb with other application uh, one is mongodb and second one is mongoose mongoose provide much more features than mongodb driver mongoose also a mongodb driver but much more features compared to mongodb basic driver it add more functionalities features and some validation methods and defining schema and model in the mongoose okay next what is mongoose mongoose is an object data modeling library for mongodb and node.js and provide higher level of abstraction for interacting with the database with other applications we can use regular mongodb driver to connect with the database but we are using mongoose because it provide much more functionalities features than mongodb it allow faster and simple to develop our applications those features are schema is to model our data and relationships we can do validations model is the wrapper around the schema this allows us to interface with the database for performing the code operations let's install mongoose so where we have our server in the project folder in the project folder we have the server folder so click on that open that folder and click the cmd it will open the command prompt here we have to install by using the command npm install mongoose npm space install space mongoose just hit enter now mongoose is installed successfully for connecting the mongodb by using the mongoose for that i have to create a new file by clicking this icon or else i can just right click on server folder click new file okay the file name is db connect dot js extension js in order to connect with the mongodb we have to import mongoose module so i have created db connect.js file here we are going to write the database connectivity code so first step is going to import our mongoose for that we have to use const mongoose equal to require mongoose and we have to write a function function db connect in that we have to pass 
URL and the password to access the mongoose and then we have to handle the errors. To connect with the mongoose, we have to use connect function by calling the mongoose object which has created here. Mongoose dot connect. Here we have to pass the URL. So go to MongoDB Atlas to sign in there. Then after that, you will have this page. Here you can set the password in the database access option. Here you have your username. Then if you forgot your password, you can edit by using this edit option. Here you can edit by clicking the edit password and you can enter admin123. So likewise, you can reset your password or else you can use the password auto generated by the system. Okay. So just click update user so that your password will be updated. That password should be provided in the connection URL. For connecting the database, you have to go for databases. Here you see the connect option. Click here, you will get the some connection options. We have drivers. If we want to connect the MongoDB Atlas through the Compass software, we can use this option. If we want to connect the Atlas by using the cell, we have to go for cell option. See here, we have this URL. This URL should be provided in the cell to perform the cell operation. See here, we have mongoose and we have some URL in the cluster 0. We have to provide the username in your login. Your username will be displayed. After that, you can copy here. Copy here. And if you go to command prompt, you go to command prompt. So just right click here. Automatically, it will be added. Just click enter. It will ask the password. You can type your password. Which password you have set. I have entered my password, copied and pasted here. So I am just clicking here. So it is connecting to the Atlas. See here, it is connected to the cloud MongoDB database. It's not local database. See here, I have. See here, in the collection, I have so many databases, right? Cineflex, MyDB, StudentDB, Test. Okay. In Cineflex, I have Movies Collection. Cineflex database, I am having Movies database. I can access here just by typing so DB, DBs. Or else we can type so databases. See here. So what are the databases available in the cloud atlas we can access through cell now we are going to connect by using the some application like node.js or java application or php application we are going to access from the node.js you have to choose the drivers you have to go for driver operation click here and you can uh, select the driver for php python ruby so we are going to select node.js okay we can select the version for that the latest version is 5.5 i am selected i have selected those operations and before we are going to use this we have to install mongodb driver but we didn't install mongodb driver we have installed mongoose driver that is enough for to communicate with the or interface with the database okay See here, this is our URL for connecting the database with the Node.js application. Just copy here. So select and copy or else you can click this option copy. So copy. Now you have to go for the 
our server just paste here you have to replace the password here so which password you have set in the mongodb atlas you have to set the password the path you should not you should not leave the less than symbol and uh, greater than symbol you have to delete this okay inside the colon and at symbol you have to provide your password inside the colon and at symbol you have to provide the password after that we have to pass the value that is user new url parser to true we can use then method then is if the connection is successfully completed this function will be executed or else some error may be occurred that should be catched here we can use try catch or else we can use then and catch method we have to close the functions bracket and then the, we have to close the then bracket after that we have to put catch so in the catch error here also i am going to use arrow function syntax i am going to tell if the error occurred some error in db connection should be displayed consoled if the connection is successful it should display in the console connected to db that's it we have defined the functionality to connect the database now we have to export this function in this file so that we can import anywhere in the project for exporting we have to use module dot exports equal to our function name function name is db connect that's it now we have to import this db connect function or module in the server for that we have to use const db connect equal to require we have to use require function then it is in the local file so we have to use dot slash this root folder in that see here we have db connect we can use dot js or else we can omit dot js but automatically the system will find db connect dot js okay now we have imported after that we have to call this function we have to call the function after the app db connect we have successfully called we have to call here we have to run our server for that i am going to install nodemon nodemon is a process manager or process monitor it will monitor our uh, project whenever the whenever we are modifying our code in which uh, in whatever file it will monitor and restart our server we don't want to stop and start the server automatically it will restart the server for that we have to use npm space install node 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 mon okay if you are installing for your project you can use just npm install node mon if you are installing globally you can use hyphen g okay i am going to install for my project so i am going to install using npm install node mon okay now the node mon is installed now we have to make some changes in the package.json file for that i am going to server so in the script in the script we have to provide some option start start equal to node mon node mon space what is our entry point server server dot js is our entry point so i am going to save this file now i am going to run using the node mon for that we have to use 
npm start so our server is started some error occurred in our database because i didn't provide password for i didn't provide authentication how to verify what error is occurred just go to our db connect and i didn't provide password so i am going to provide the password now how to check the error what error occurred we can simply print this error here error so that we can find the error occur during the connect to the during the connection go to our command prompt see here some error in the database connection what is the error password cannot be empty so i need to provide the password likewise you can find out your errors and you can rectify it okay i am going to provide the password now i am going to paste it here save open the command prompt now see here the database is connected successfully in the next video we will see about how to create a schema and how to create database by using the node application